Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here is our directions in the questions read for environmental science quiz number one. Multiple choice except for question 11, which is a constructive response. You have to answer all questions. Let's start. Okay, so I'm going to re read through each question once with the answers. If you need it read a second time, rewind the video. Take your time on this exam. There will be a copy of this as well as the Google Classroom form of this exam on the test. Good luck. And so let's begin. So question one. Base your answer to this question on the food web below and your knowledge of science. So we have a food web here, a bunch of arrows, and we have things like hawk, fox, lizard, bird, cricket, and maple tree leaves. It says, which statement best describes sunlight and how it affects this food web? One. Sunlight is living and enters the food web through the hawk and the fox. Two, sunlight is living and enters the food web through the maple tree leaves. Three, sunlight is non-living and enters the food web through the hawk and the fox. Four, sunlight is non-living and enters the food web through the maple tree leaves. Question two. This is a food chain that includes grass, a grasshopper, and a bird. So grass, arrow pointing to grasshopper, pointing to bird. How is the grass in this food chain best described? One, it is a producer because it makes its own food. Two, it is a producer because it is eaten by consumers. Three, it is a consumer because it gets its energy from producers. Or four, it is a decomposer because it breaks down sunlight. Question three, which classification best describes herbivores? One, producers, two, consumers, three, predators, four, decomposers, herbivores. Question four, which is an example of a decomposer? One, a hawk, two, a mouse, three, a flower, or four, a mushroom. Question five. Which organism is a producer? One, a frog, two, a mushroom, three, grass, or four, lizard. Moving on to question six. It says the diagram below represents a food web, web in a pond ecosystem. So at the bottom here we have clams and crabs and water plants. Here I have small invertebrates. Here I have crayfish. And here I have bass. Crabs and clams on the bottom here. Two carnivores in this food web are one, the bass and the small invertebrates, two, the small invertebrates and crabs, three, water plants and clams, or four, crabs and crayfish. Seven, which sequence 
shows the order of energy flow in a food chain. One, from sun to rabbit to grass to owl. Two, grass to rabbit to owl to sun. Three, sun to grass to rabbit to owl. Or four, owl to rabbit to grass to sun. Next, number eight. The diagram below represents an energy pyramid. Level A at the top, then level B, then level C, then level D. It says in this pyramid, the greatest amount of stored energy is found at level A, 1, 2, B, 3, C, or 4, D. The greatest amount of stored energy. Number 9. Hummingbirds feed on the nectar of flowering plants. In this pot process, they also pollinate the plants. Which symbiotic relationship does this represent? Pollinate means help reproduce. One, predation. Two, mutualism. Three, parasitism. parasitism. Or four, commensalism. Moving on to question 10. A little bit picture here, it might be hard to see, it's in color on the, on the Google form, so just keep that in mind. 10. Protozoa live in the intestine of a termite and give off enzymes which digest cellulose. This helps both organisms. What is this relationship called? 1. Mutualism. 2. Commensalism, 3. Parasitism, or 4. Competition. Finally, we get to question 11. This is the constructive response. This is worth 2 points. This is worth a 2. It says, base your answers on the diagram below and your knowledge of science. The diagram represents an owl and a, rat, a rabbit, a rabbit and an owl. Rabbits eat only plants and typically feed during the day in open areas such as fields and meadows. Owls eat only rabbits and other small animals and hunt mainly at night. There's our picture of a rabbit and an owl. It says, refer to figure one and answer the following question. Organisms are classified as carnivores, omnivores, producers, or herbivores. Identify the classification of the rabbit and the owl based on how they obtain their food. So you have to say what the rabbit is out of these four, carnivore, omnivore, producer, or herbivore, and what the owl is, carnivore, omnivore, producer or herbivore and what what based on what they eat so the owl is a blank because it eats blank the rabbit is a blank because it eats blank all right guys good luck on the quiz and i'll talk to you later